super excited for you to be here and in this video I'm actually going to get a little more personal and talk about um, just just have a talk I guess I do want to expand my videos and I don't want it to just be about medicine I want it to be more um, life style and uh, just more than just medicine although my life revolves around medicine and I think it will always revolve a lot around medicine medicine i love talking about just experiences in life today i wanted to talk about insecurities i'm actually studying for my surgery quotation um i do have uh, my notebook here i was just studying it's going well and uh, of course it's really hard and there's so much um, involved with surgery that you have to know I am it's a lot of information and my rotation itself is not helping because we have to be at the uh, hospital from 5 in the morning until 7 p.m. and if you think of getting out early you are at risk of getting in a huge huge amounts of trouble so to avoid that we usually uh, stay in Sometimes I try to escape for a little bit and then go back um, just so I can get a little bit of studying in. Or I study in the library whenever there is um, slow or downtime uh, in the hospital. So anyway, um, so back to the topic, which is insecurities. Um, I think we all have this, and especially uh, being a medical student, we have a lot of insecurities. It's the insecurity of not going to the next level, you know, insecurities of are you good enough, are you going to be a good doctor, and whether you're going to match. <laughs> right now, I'm like so nervous about that and I have a year yet, but it's just a lot of insecurities that we constantly have and um, a lot of times those insecurities play a really terrible role in our lives. Everyone has them, but the way you handle them can really affect your lifestyle. So in the hospital, in the, um, or in, you know, in your class, whatever, you meet other students, you, um, or at your work, if you're not a medical student um, and you're watching this, you find people that are constantly comparing themselves to you or trying to battle with you because they might be insecure about something which then they try to get their frustration on you whether you do that yourself maybe um someone is you know talking about how they've done this and then you try to to play this game of okay well i did this though so then that is coming from an insecure place where you want to look just as good or you want to look better and that's why you've made those comments if that makes sense we do things to compensate for something we lack and it's because we're insecure about that lack of existence of whatever we're trying to compensate. So for example, um, my insecurity would be like not being good enough. Um, this is something I feel like a lot of us have. It's just not being a good doctor, not being as smart or as, uh, as brave or as, you know, a certain um you know a certain someone from a certain you know having all these research background and this and that doing this and that and you're just like wow like they're they're so they're brilliant and like what am i doing here <laughs> making youtube videos like i'm now even close to like, and that's where you become you start to get insecure about it and um it begins to eat at you and then you try to compensate and be like okay well there da, 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 and you try to make reasons those those reasons then become your comfort blanket and you then feel better about yourself but it's usually temporarily and plus you're constantly then making those reasons or making those excuses or making those comments um and maybe even projecting a negative comment against 
someone that has it that you don't, you know what I mean? And you're like projecting, well, you know, you have these grades because you're doing this and this and this and I haven't been doing that because, well, you know, I'm doing like I'm watching Netflix or I'm, um, I'm doing this or I haven't really opened up a book because like that is our way of saying oh well you know the re only reason why you have a better grade is because well I'm not studying while well, you're studying your ass off so you know you feel them better that okay well you know they've done something about the studying and that's why they are where they are and you are where you are At the end of the day you've just made yourself feel better but it doesn't crack at the problem because you now want to say okay I'm still smarter than you because I didn't study as much as you did. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I feel we, uh, we've all done it, okay? We've all done it. And it's something that we use as a cover blanket. Like, we feel better about ourselves. Um, and that is something that you have to... And, I mean, you can do what you want. So my thought process, especially like as I'm going through clinical rotation, everybody's different. And every, obviously, we already know that the medical field is very competitive. And so then what we try to do um, is try to up one the other. Oh, my God. Like, we try to be better than the other medical students, so we outshine them. I don't think there's anything wrong with that in the sense that you want to you know you're coming in early you're doing all this work you are making sure that you're you know you, you stand out and you look good that's fine whatever do your thing but there is a way to also do it so if you are stepping on other people's toe making them purposely making them look bad so that you look good that makes you look bad i mean maybe temporarily at that moment the tending doesn't see that you are being this conniving mm, then you are probably gonna get away with it but karma as, a, as i'm going through my rotations you will definitely meet people that are super cool and then some people that are just evil and they will try to make you look terrible they will do whatever it takes to do that i think that in the end it makes them look bad but going back to the topic is insecurity so it really shows their insecurity in a sense so then you become defined by that insecurity so like i said everyone has insecurities and i told you mine i have a bunch of other more other more i have a bunch more i'm sure but the thing is i try to accept it and be aware of my insecurity so that i can stop using comfort blankets and rather um work towards why it's an insecurity and try to change it so that it doesn't um affect me and and uh bring a character out of me that i don't want to represent me so if i'm insecure about not being good enough as compared to other students then i i can change that and study more and focus more and be more active in my academics so that i can feel that i'm good enough by showing that i'm good enough and it's not about just proving to everyone else it's never about proving to anyone else it's about proving to yourself and i think that has always been my thing where i want to prove to myself that i am good enough and when i feel comfortable within my own skin people begin to appreciate me more or people begin to see me in the light that I kind of wanted them to see me in but it all comes down to the way you feel about yourself so if I constantly think okay I'm not good enough I'm not good enough it is that insecurity of mine is going to cause a lot of problems and cause this negative character in me to be um, to rise and therefore it will lead to a lot of negative downfalls basically what i'm saying is it's important to understand that we have flaws and to figure out how you can better yourself without using that insecurity without having that insecurity overcome you and change your character to be a not so great character just sit back think about what you do what kind of excuses you make or even if it's not an excuse if, if it's a flat-out statement about you and 
so then what can you do to alleviate so that insecurity doesn't overcome your life and that is by accepting that this is what you have and and then accepting that that existence will then allow you to to not be so insecure about it the eliminate essentially you will eliminate that insecurity entirely or minimize it by a lot um i know one of my uh, friends he was he made fun of he made fun of me for um one of my insecurities so he would constantly like go at me like make jokes about it and it was like a desensitization almost he wasn't cruel about it but he was just in a sweet way but yet uh and charming way and yet mean i don't know how to, it was like a combination of those kind of things he desensitized me of this insecurity that i had about more of a fact rather than like a personality trait that, that desensitization of that allowed me to get over it a lot of people won't have that kind of reaction now if, if someone's constantly putting the that negative like making fun of you for something you might you'll eventually like grow to become insecure so you you can't do that to someone don't do that just watch who you're who the person is because depending on their character they might take it a completely different way but my point is like try to figure out how you can overcome the insecurity so that it doesn't build on your character in a negative way and allow you to um appear a certain way as well because sometimes we're not even aware of it and then once we become aware of it, it's gonna it might be too hard to like undo, um, and it, it all takes time for sure. But self awareness is super important. Hopefully, you guys got something out of it. Um, but just to kind of catch you guys up in my life as well, because I do want to incorporate that. Um, so I am on my surgery. If you're watching, uh, if you are following me on my Instagram, you know what I'm doing most of the time. It's either studying or I'm at the hospital because that's where my first home is, the hospital. Uh, um, but in the hospital, it's actually a lot of fun. We have a huge group. Um, and they're pretty cool. I actually like my group. They're nice. Some are chill, some are overactive in a good way, and then some are underactive. Not so good, <laughs> but whatever, do your thing. Um, and then some are interesting, while others are boring. No, I'm kidding. Um, but no, it, it's, uh, it's nice to have like a fun group. Um, and of course, the bigger the group, the more drama there is as well. This is my fifth core rotation. So I have one more core rotation, which is family. And then I am done with my third year. And I start my fourth year, and that's going to be uh, consist of electives. I'm still deciding what I want to go into, whether, um, I don't know, I don't even know. <sighs> it sucks not knowing what you want to go into because then it's just you know i don't know i i feel like i have to figure that out very very soon but um hopefully within time i have it narrowed down to two i think um and then we'll see where i go with that but yeah so right now i'm just studying i'm gonna get back to my studying and learn about gallbladder and jaundice hyperbilirubinemia hopefully i'll put that up before this video and that is actually um really good you should definitely watch it because i think you will have a, a really good understanding of what to do or what um to think of when you think of hyperbilirubinemia and seriously you'll get all the questions right so go check that out. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.